this is the yellow-bellied sapsucker, and it and it doesn't have the name woodpecker in it, but it is a woodpecker. I have always you may have heard me talk about this word, but I like to call this the Jane Hathaway bird. Anybody watch the Beverly Hillbillies when you were growing up? You know, when you were younger. Come on, yeah, yeah, you did, didn't you? Yeah, the, you remember Jane Hathaway? She was a, she was the secretary at the bank, and she was a bird watcher, and she used to come in dressed in her uniform and her hat and everything, and and she would always say they were going in search of the rare yellow-bellied sapsucker. Well, this is the bird, uh, and they're not that rare. But yeah, it, it made for good television. It was a funny name, and everybody actually thought it was a made-up bird, I think. But it does exist because with the name like sapsucker, you gotta go really. You know, there's a bird that sucks sap. Yes, there is. There's there's a few species that do that, but this is the one that we have here, the yellow belly sapsucker, and we don't have them nesting here. They nest to the much much further to the north. But they do come to here in fall migration, and many of them pass through. They will winter as far south as the tropics in the, you know, Central America. But we have lots that do winter right here in Missouri and uh, northwest Missouri. And they like peanuts, as this picture would indicate, a peanut feeder, aspect peanut feeder. And they also like suet. They'll eat that as well. But I seem to, it, my, when they show up at my house, they almost... They seem to prefer the peanuts over the suet. They'd be different in your yard, but that's what they are. But they're an interesting bird in many, many ways. Uh, one of them is because their plumage is so variable. Now, I swear that I have read somewhere in the my past, and I've said it before, that it takes four years for them to reach sexual maturity. And a friend of mine asked me about that, and I looked it up, and I can't find anything that backs that up now, so I don't know where I read that. But, so I'm going to back off of that until I can find some proof. But they are very, very variable in their plumages. And so that's one thing that makes them very confusing. I went over and looked at a bird at a friend's house the other day that he couldn't identify. It was like it was confusing to him. And it was a very, very young uh, yellow-bellied sapsucker. And it didn't look anything or it didn't even look close to this. It, it was very um, a different plumage. And so one of the things I wanted to do today is show you um, several pictures that customers have taken of this bird in various plumage. Now, here's a bird. I think Mary took this picture, but you can see the yellow on the belly, um, but the the color on the head is not very dark at all. Uh, there's not a lot of black in the head yet. There's not a lot of uh, uh, black in the face, and the red and the crown is very, you know, uh, not well defined. And well, the bird that I had, that had could I wish I could have got a picture the other day, was even paler than this. It was hardly, it just maybe a faint pink to the crown. And, and, and the face, you could see the stripe, but it was very well, well defined. So it wasn't very well defined. So it was a very young bird. And so given the differences between that first picture and even this picture, uh, you can see the yellow on the belly on this one uh, is well defined. But look what they look like whenever they they um, are older, and especially in the spring or an adult bird. Whenever you get them, I've got a great picture in here that my friend Jeff Janney took at his feeder. And look how brilliant black that bird is. The black on the throat, the black in the wings, the black in the, the face, and the mallard stripe. So you can see from a very pale uh, bird earlier in the pictures to this one, they vary a lot. They look quite different. Now, they are sexually dimorphic, which means that you can tell the difference in their sexes. This guy has a red throat, which makes him a male. The picture that we, I know we led off with, I do believe, was a female because she had a white throat. See the white here, the white throat here? But she's got nice black, so this is an older bird as well. Um, so she does have a lot of black, but that white throat means that she is a female. Now, some of the, one of the things that's really interesting about this bird is they in, in the northern in, uh, territories where they nest they uh there's some studies that have uh, been showed that they do have a relationship with hummingbirds um that uh, and i've seen this here i've seen this in missouri in early april i have found a, a, a sapsucker one year and uh, it had drilled holes uh, in the area where, where we we found him and there was a male ruby threaded hummingbird on April Fool's Day, very early April, that was going up to those sapsucker holes and licking the sap that was oozing out 
of those holes. And the, and the sap suckers do that. You know, they, they drink the sap. They eat the sap. They actually can eat the, the zoom and the phylum, which is inside the bark of the tree. And they also eat insects that are attracted to the sap, mainly ants. They, they, the sap suckers eat a lot of ants. But other birds will eat the, the insects that are attracted to the sap. Um, and so they are an important part of, of the ecological community. They provide food for other birds as well. Now, some people don't like them because here's, here's a great example of the, a row of sap sucker holes around a tree. And people are afraid, you know, that they're, they, they're all damaged or, or kill their trees. They typically don't harm the trees because, uh, the, because those rows are broken. Uh, and, and they don't, if you can take, you can actually kill a tree with a, a, a pocket knife if you cut all the way around it. Um, but the, you know, for woodpeckers, they, uh, sap suckers, they tend not to kill the tree, but they can if, if you add another extenuating circumstance to a, a, a tree like this, like drought, um, then that may cause or a, add to uh, a tree's demise if the sap sucker has drilled a lot of holes in it and then you have something like a drought. So that can occur. So, But actually, they're like I said, they're very important parts of our, our community. So I appreciate that uh, idea for a program. It was a great idea, a great bird. Um, and yes, they do exist, yellow belly sap suckers. So send in more ideas for programs. If you would, please give us a like, give us a share. Until, come in and let's talk birds.